It's election day in Canada, and here is the top five reasons to vote for the PPC. Before I even get into those reasons, there's two questions you need to ask yourself. Are you going to be brutally honest with yourself about the state of the world? And very simply, do you want to live in a free society? What am I talking about? I'm talking about a social credit system on the other side of the world. If you like the wrong things on Facebook, if you have the wrong opinions, if you even jaywalk, social credit system will know detract points. If you are critical of the government in the wrong way, you lose a lot of points. To the point where you can't even catch a bus like local transit. This is real. The dystopia is here on the other side of the world. The reason I bring this up is because the vaccine passports is exactly where that is headed. A lot of people don't want to accept that, so that's why the first question is, are you going to be brutally honest with the state of the world? If no, you can stay in La La Land, but if yes, we go on to the next question. Do you want to live in a free society, yes or no? Of course, coming in at number one is we oppose the vaccine passports, and with that, the social credit system. We do not want that in Canada. The media likes to call us anti-vax, and for sure, the anti-vaxxers definitely live in the PPC, but we are pro-choice on the matter. You know, if you want to get it, if you don't want to get it, we don't really care. And this first point is a big one because we don't want to segregate society based on whether you got this medical procedure or not. What our provinces and government is doing, by the way, to push businesses to enforce this vaccine passport, it goes against our charter of rights. It's against the laws in our country. We have people in charge right now who are trying to subvert the laws in our country and they're acting like the good guys. Reason number two to vote for PPC is we oppose all of the censorship and speech laws coming down the pipe. I won't get stuck in the weeds here, but C-10 and Bill C-36. These laws will be the end of freedom of speech in Canada. That sounds like an exaggeration, but it really is not. We want to expand the definition of hate speech and give the government the power to monitor and control all speech online to the point of fining you and putting you on house arrest if you have the wrong opinion. Yes, yes, it's true. Trust me, I wish that was an exaggeration. And you might be asking, why have I never heard of this before? Which leads to point number three to vote for PPC. We oppose state-funded propaganda. The CBC has some good programming, but they get something like 1.7 plus billion dollars a year. In some cases, less than 1% of the country consumes this content. Not only is it not a good use of money, but there's additional funding in the hundreds of millions, and I think billions now, that goes to private media organizations as well. To quote, trusted journalists. This has compromised the integrity of our entire news media industry in Canada. You can't even have a real democracy without honest journalism. And this is why our country is in such a chaotic state. We don't have news in this country. We have propaganda. This is why our media hardly ever says anything bad about Trudeau. Reason number four is something every single true leftist and liberal should be excited about and should be getting behind. But for some reason, they don't. We oppose corporate cronyism which is an economic system in which businesses thrive not as a result of free enterprise, but rather as a return on money amassed through collusion between a business class and a political class. <laughs> SNC-Lavalin. Does this sound familiar? There is a reason the PPC is hated by the establishment. The People's Party of Canada is threatening the gravy train. This is something that everyone should be able to get behind. Meanwhile, all the other establishment parties are just like, shh. Don't ask, don't tell. That stuff doesn't happen, bro. Yeah, okay. Before we get into number five, I do want to address a lot of the lies or rumors that get spread around about our policies. You're racist, you're transphobic, you're homophobic. It's very easy to believe if you only watch the CBC and CTV and read the smear articles about it. And it's easy to believe if you have absolutely no nuance on any issue whatsoever. For example, we want to lower our immigration levels because of our questionable housing and job market. It just doesn't make sense to bring in so many people. And these other parties won't even talk about it because they want to call us racist. Finally, another lie is that the PPC wants to get rid of the social security safety net. Not true. We definitely want to get rid of things like foreign handouts where we send millions of dollars to Zimbabwe and Sub-Saharan Africa and we're told that it goes towards something productive and not towards God knows what, like a golden swimming pool for some prince or something. It's pretty common sense stuff. But speaking of common sense, coming in at number five, Maxime Bernier's experience, his competence. Consider this, Justin Trudeau has been a ski instructor and a bouncer and a drama teacher, and that's like it. Max Bernier, on the other hand, has 19 years of work experience, even outside of politics. 
lawyer, director of corporate and international relations. And then in politics, he has 13 years of experience, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of State, Minister of Industry, Chair of National Defense Select Committee. Competence should matter. You know what I mean? This is really important because his background is in finance and Canada currently is in a terrible financial situation. If there's anyone who can be business savvy and fight for us on trade deals and things like this, knowing how to get our economy back on track, it's this guy. An honorable mention in this list should be the fact that the PPC is new, fresh, and so many people who I've met in the party who run as candidates are these sweet Canadians who have their heart in the right place and they truly just want to do the right thing. I know that sounds mushy, but it's true. I actually ran in 2019 as a candidate. Now get out and vote!